Hey guys, um, this is my second video on uploading or while well, adding a DAS character to Unreal 4. This is the ALS Advanced Locomotive System in general here. Um, I'm going to show you how to fix the hair. As you can see, actually, let me change the camera view. This is how a lot of the DAS hair comes in. I mean, uh, at least some of the more advanced as here comes through really clear. It's kind of annoying. It's actually a really easy fix, but it is going to require you to have some sort of a photo editing program. I'm going to use Photoshop. Anything that can that can do like a brightness contrast will work. Now you see here in the textures, the main part is the cap, which would be this. As you can see, it's very light. And this is all that imports in as far as textures. We have the hair color, you know, for the body, blah, blah, blah. And we have this right here to be your opacity for it. But we just don't have what we need. So the easiest way to get that is going to DAS, as I already have Vicky loaded up with the hair, the top model updo. That's the particular one that I'm using. And we need to get what we're missing. So, yeah, it's already selected. Let's go to s Surfaces. If you don't have a Surfaces tab already, if you go up to Window, go down to Panes, go down to Surfaces. And that will bring you to where it is that you can, you have all your different options here. But the main thing that you want, and it doesn't really matter what one that you're under, you go under the back, the cap, or whatever. But we just need to find out where these are. So as you can see, if you highlight over the picture under the fuse color, it'll show you exactly where at on your computer those files are located. It's a really long path. But once you get that, you know, just do a search for it, go through your folders which I already did. Now these are all the actual files that are in there. Ones that didn't transfer over. But we want for the cap, especially for the cap, because as you can see there is no darker version. But what I found through a lot of trial and error is if you take the actual, let me minimize as and bring up Unreal. Yeah, this is the one I'm in and bring that back up. See, these are the colors for the cap. So what you want is... What's here? We're going to want a dark one. Will you move? There. I think this is the color. Maybe that's the color. That looks closest to that. Alright, so drag that into your textures folder. Alright, so you have that. So we'll work with the cap first. So if you go back into materials, see I could barely see it. Yeah, move these. Yeah, they always move all over the place. So you don't really need this, even though that comes in. I think it just makes it that way. What you want to do is let's. Oh shit! Come on. Give me a little room here. I didn't want you. That high. Okay. Ah. Oh, Alright, there we are. So as you can see, we have... Why did you come back down? Okay. Take this color in. And the one that actually looks like the cap, we'll just right-click and break links. Bring this in and connect this just this plain color to the base color. And if you give it a second, it will... See, now it's much darker. I think if I go into here... It's like two-sided? Um, yeah, maybe. Well, let's apply that and see what happens. So you get rid of the main one that comes in. 
and bring in just a color. You see, it's looking better already. It's compiling shaders, so you know that will. Let's change this camera speed down. See, that looks better already. So that's what we do for the cap. But now, as far as the rest of these, and I went through a lot of trial and error on that. Because see how you can barely see through these, even though I believe that they're actually all the exact same material. At least it sure looks like it. You have texture sample. You want to keep that the same. This is what we want to change. Now I had gone through, and I actually brought this out in several different... I was thinking that if you make it darker, it would make it darker, but it doesn't. So what you want to do is make this particular one, which goes into your opacity, you want to make this brighter. I can't really do it from here, but if you followed in with your source into the, well, whatever here it is you're doing, minus the top model updo. If you follow into here, see how you have, this is the one that it comes with. These ones over here were test ones of mine as I was going through it. But this one right here, see how it's much darker. What you want to do is, I'm going to use Photoshop as an example. I'm not sure what program you have, but there are many different ways that you can brighten things for free. That's not going to cost you anything. This is the texture. What we want to do is make this as bright as possible. See, that's at 150. Uh, let's save as... We're probably going to want it brighter than that. I just toss in a name. Uh, let's make it as pretty much as large a file as can. Alright. So... Yeah, I didn't save it in this folder, did I? Alright, I probably should have paid attention to that. Damn it. I forget what my last... Oh, no, it's in there. Top model up to... T new one. Yeah, that's the one I'm in. Okay. So it should be in there. Um, let me sort. Sort by date. And why is that not showing up? Alright, that's really odd. I wonder if I have a couple of different folders. Oh, here it is, right here. Alright, that is weird. Alright, so if you drag that in there, and that one's been upped by 150. So now we have the new one. Let's move this aside. Bring this in. And plug this one into opacity. And then give it a second. See, that's much darker. Much darker. So let's see how that will look. After it saves. So I think I'm going to want a lot brighter than that. See, it's compiling the shaders right now. But what you really want to do is... See, that already looks 100% better. So let's bring up our character. And if you go to Asset Details, it shows all your textures. Let's okay, let's focus in on that. Bring down our camera. Because I hate the camera. It'll go shooting off all over the place like crazy. See, that already looks a lot better. Oop, too far. And that one was... 
the one for the back. But I believe that they're actually all the same for this particular one. So if you were to just load them all up under back, it should actually all come out the same. Uh, not a side one. Let's go back. 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 To back. And back. There. Now, as you can see, it looks much better. Just by maxing out the brightness on it. I've tried it having darker and it actually made it more transparent. Now this particular one actually has a clear spot right here. There's nothing I can do about that. I don't know why it's like that because it's not like that on the other side. But that's just the way it is in the hair. That's the way the material is designed. So, I mean, you can still kind of see the, the cap. But like when you're playing the game, it doesn't stand out so much. And that's pretty much all you really have to do. You know, save everything, obviously. And this is not just for the top model updo. Because I've tried a f quite a few different hairs, and they all wanted to load in just about like this. Really transparent and clear. So, I hope that helps you guys out. I said this is going to be a short video. I save everything. And in the next one, let me see here. I don't know if I needed to do... Because sometimes if you do it two-sided, it actually makes things fill in more. I don't know if that really mattered on that or not. Let's find out. After it compiles, I'm using the, uh, in order to move around like this, I'm right clicking down and pressing the A button to move from one side and the D, D button to move the other way. In case you're curious, because it took me a little bit to figure that out because people weren't explaining exactly what they were doing. But there you have it. Easiest way. All you have to do is take whatever the... Where is it at? Textures. Come on, click. Take whatever the... Basically would be like the black and white version that would go to your opacity. Or if you go into the material, click on it and see what one's plugged into your opacity. Let's bring this down. I hate it the way that it loops like that. You take that and brighten it up. Bring it into any program where you can like brighten it up as, much, as bright as possible. The brighter you get it, the darker the hair is going to be. That's all you have to do to make that hair go from that to now, I probably could have gone brighter because this isn't as bright as I... This is only about three quarters as bright as I usually went for my other... But just plug it in, boom, and apply. And you can see right away. Now, as soon as it loads, how much darker it is. Like I said sometimes, too, if you click on the main title one, the big one here, you have the option for two-sided. If you go two-sided, I've noticed that for some hairs, it will actually fill it in much more because it, like, doubles the amount of hair strands. So, depending on how it fills in, you may or may not want to try that. This actually turned out pretty good, just as it was. So, let's apply that. Now, for some hairs, you're probably going to have a separate material for each one which this one does but it's actually all the same material so it's just as easy to just put them all in there so 
Oop. Oh. Okay. But yeah, that's about it. There's not really a whole lot to it. I see on the next one, I'm going to focus in on the eyes because that actually takes a little bit of, a little bit of time, and I have to go back and look to see exactly what all I did. So, I hope you all enjoy the video. Like and subscribe, please. And I will check you later.